In this video, I want to make some suggestions to cars.com how they can make their dealer uh, reporting tool better. Just one suggestion. And then some suggestions for cars.com on how to uh, improve their SRPs and VDPs relating to vehicle videos. So the first section is on the dealer's dashboard. Within the dealer's dashboard, it would be great from this page here where there's a lot of great information about uh, the metrics of how things are going for the dealer. Um, just one small request here. This filter only allows for the previous month and the current month. I think it would be helpful if this filter allowed dealers to look at a range of months or a particular month. So I should be able to choose June of 2019 or June of 2018 or the first quarter of 2018 or the, the third quarter of 2019. So if you could make that adjustment, I think that would be super helpful. Taking a look at the cars.com website itself. So on the SRP and on the VDP, I think it would be great if cars.com uh, rewarded dealers who do actual full motion video of their inventory. So if a dealer is uh, willing to take the time and, and put the resources behind doing an actual video of a car, I think they should be rewarded. One way to do that would be to add the, a play button to the thumbnail image on the SRP, similar to the way that I do this on one of our microsites used cars madison so on usedcarsmadison.com every vehicle that has a video the thumbnail image has a play button and the the shopper can click the play button and watch a true full motion video of the car audi q5 its sharp design makes it instantly recognizable it's because video is such a big part of the shopping experience on a variety of websites. I think if cars.com said to dealers who do video, we're going to reward you by making your thumbnail a video, that would be great. If you do that on the SRP, perfect. I'm not suggesting you do the same thing for dealers that, that do stitch video. I don't think that stitch video is the same experience as an actual full motion VIN specific video. So like this one here, this is a stitch video. I think there's less value to the to the consumer on a stitch video, which is just simply a slideshow, as opposed to a full motion true video, much like this dealer's doing on their listings. So a play button as the this is a true video. So a play button on the first photo here and also a play button on the list page would be great. And then finally, uh, from a used car perspective, one of the things we do at our dealership is we highlight our reconditioning. So for example, this Malibu has four new tires. We believe that adds value to this used, used Malibu. So we have these call outs on the SRP. And if you hover your mouse over it, it indicates four new tires, approximate value $700. Uh, down here, four new tires, scratch and dent. We also have two new tires. We have four new brakes and two new brakes. Those are items that we believe add value to a used car. In addition to that, we do add uh, comments in our comments we're including the fact that we added four new tires. And then finally, in our photo gallery, we also include an infographic for the four new tires. Now, the infographic and the comments do get syndicated to cars.com. The comments is a part of our comment feed and the infographic as a part of our photo feed. But the callouts are something altogether different. In cars.com, you would need to build the intelligence on your website. So perhaps on the SRP, there would be a callout here for new tires. 
in addition to having the photos, in addition to having the comments about the four new tires. And I can help and I'd be happy to work with cars.com on getting this done, but I do think that uh, calling out the fact that there is a video, calling out the fact that we've spent some additional money on reconditioning on the SRP and VDP adds great value to the customer and adds great content to the cars.com website. So I hope you found this helpful. More than happy to work with cars.com to help get their site better. Thanks for watching.